Good afternoon from Exit 407. It's Ryan, and here is what we'll be showing you in today's video. We'll be driving through Sevierville, Pigeon Forge, and Gatlinburg, checking out a number of new treats that you can try in the month of October, checking out new stores that will be opening, construction updates on a number of places like the Diggin' Zone theme park by Dollywood. We'll even be riding a brand new mountain coaster that is loaded with bears and amazing views of the Smokies, all while highlighting a number of October events from corn mazes to festivals and places that you can trick or treat at, all while giving you sights and sounds of what it's like to be in the Smoky Mountains in October. So without further ado, let today's adventure begin. As we start out at exit 407 to check out what is new in Sevierville, Pigeon Forge, and Gatlinburg for the month of October, our first stop will be the Bucky's where they have finally opened up their new car wash. Unlike this store, it's not taking the title for the world's largest, but is still a massive car wash. Their basic car wash is $13, or you can pay $16 for the works, and by doing so, that saves you 20 cents a gallon. At the moment, you can only purchase the car wash at the pump or at the cashier inside. With the car wash, they have free self-serve bug scrub, a whole row of vacuums, and air compressors that you can now use as well. If you have been to the Sevierville Bucky's and found it hard to find a parking spot, this additional parking next to the car wash they are working on should help in the future. I don't see any new buildings going up yet for the Smoky Gap District at this time, but progress continues on this building that I was told would become a hotel. Across the street, you would find the Tennessee Smokies Stadium, which is a double A affiliate of the Chicago Cubs. The good news is they just became the 2023 Southern League champions, but the bad news is there's only one more season to enjoy watching them in this stadium until they move the team to their new Knoxville Stadium in 2025. Leaving Sevierville, we're going to drive down the road just a little bit and we are going to be taking a left up here on Douglas Dam Road. It's about a five minute drive down the road to Kiker Farms Corn Maze. They are open Thursdays through Sundays throughout the month of October. They have five different corn mazes, hay rides to a pumpkin patch, tunnel slides, swings, an educational barn, and much more. We have taken our kids here and have had a great time. It's $19.50 for ages six and up. Three to five year olds are $9. Kids two and under are free. As we continue down the road, I just wanna give you a quick look at the construction of Wilderness of the Smokies Water Park expansion. I'm not thinking it will be complete this month, but we'll keep you updated on the progress and give you a look at the view from the top once it is completed. Some more construction to check out real quick. Around the corner here is the Rocky Top Ford car dealership, which is getting closer to completion, but still no building structure up yet for the new plaza here that should have a target in the future. If you don't wanna stop at Bucky's, I just wanna point out this Murphy Express on the right had the same price for gas. As we have now made it to downtown Sevierville, I wanted to let you know October 12th, Trotter's Whole Hog Barbecue will have $5 pulled pork sandwiches, half off brews, and 50 cent wings all day long. I wanted to give you a quick look at the new marquee that is up for the Pines Theater, which is where Dolly Parton first performed. And across the street from that, you can get some seafood at Pinchy's that will be serving brunch starting October 8th. You're welcome to pause the video and get a better look at their Sunday brunch menu. Later in the month, you could also attend Sevierville's History and Haunts on October 19th from 6 to 8 p.m., where you'll stroll the streets of historic downtown with this free family-friendly event that includes hayrides, dance party, costume contests, various games and crafts, topped off with fireworks at 8 p.m. right here in downtown Sevierville. Across from the Sevierville City Park on Park Road, there will be a free corn maze with hay rides and other activities that is put on by the First Baptist Church of Sevierville, October 25th through the 28th, 6 to 9 p.m. 
From downtown, we head towards Dollywood Theme Park to check out a new theme park currently under construction, Diggin' Zone. I know a lot of people are excited for this to open soon. It has seen a number of delays and is making great progress now. You can see they have these ticketing booths in place that you'll be walking through here as the entrance will have this giant tire waiting for you. They've got a number of things paved and ready for construction equipment that you'll be able to operate. I know they'd love to do a soft opening at the end of the month, but it looks like it's probably gonna be November. But we'll let you know once we get an official grand opening date and show you what this place is like once it's done. From Diggin' Zone in Sevierville, let's head towards Dollywood as I just wanted to point out their Harvest Festival is going on throughout the month of October until the 30th. We made two videos checking out all of the pumpkins in the park during the day and the night along with ranking all the festival food and explaining how their tasting pass works. You can check out those two videos in the description of this video. You can get a discount with your Dollywood ticket down the road at Rocky Top Mountain Coaster in Pigeon Forge. Friday nights in October, they will have people dressed up along the coaster track and will do their best to scare you. There's no additional cost for this event. It's part of your regular ticket price. So you can hop on the track to get scared or just hang out in a rocker next to one of these minions. Well, let's head back into Sevierville towards the Walmart. Across the street is the Roma table. Looking pretty good on the outside. Hopefully we'll have some good Italian food. I think November is when they're aiming to open this up. And across the street from Roma table, you'd find Quaker Steak and Lube. Just want to give you a heads up, there is a Jeep event on October 21st here. Next, we come to Skyland Ranch, which has added a new petting zoo area called the Little Wranglers Petting Corral. This will be part of their new Safari Hayride experience starting October 6th that you can add on to your Skyland Ranch ticket. This new Safari Hayride will allow you to get much closer with a number of animals on the ranch. Bree is dying to see their new llamas. Next, we stop at Tanger Outlets, which is decorated with a number of pink and white pumpkins to check out the progress of the Xperia Ocean Journey in the very back. They're still working on finishing up this indoor digital aquarium experience and may be able to do a soft opening at the end of this month and perhaps fully open in November. We'll come back and do a full video of this place once it is complete. From the Tanger Outlets, we leave Sevierville and head towards Pigeon Forge. As we come to the Smoky Mountain Opry building, you can see some construction has started but no major changes yet. I believe they're trying to put both the new Crayola experience and the Nerf experience in this building. We'll keep an eye on the progress and keep you updated. It's October, but also Christmas year round here at the Inn at Christmas Place in Pigeon Forge. They're currently working on their new courtyard they hope to have complete in November of this year it's being built by Lucas Lagoons, which could be seen on Animal Planet's Insane Pools TV show. We have seen them make some amazing things, so we'll have to come back and show you what it's like once it's complete. Just down the street, we come to the Lumberjack Square where you will find the Yard Milkshake Bar with this October's specials being, I put a spell on you and now you're mine. Inspired by Hocus Pocus, Ghostbuster fans can get a Who You Gonna Call, or you can get this classic pumpkin patch, or Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Yeah, I'm not saying it three times, I saw the movie. And just down the road is the Pigeon Forge Community Center, which will have a Halloween spooktacular event for kids on October 27th from 3 to 9 p.m. Another event you could attend is the Where's Valley Fall Fest just down the road on October 20th through the 22nd. The Island in Pigeon Forge is a great place to park for free and relax around the fountain. And there are two events this month you could check out if you're in town. Their Chalk Fest is October 8th, which is fun to walk around and see all the talented artists and their creations. They will also be doing trick or treating for kids on October 31st starting at 5 p.m. Next, we come to the tower shops at the Mountain Mile where you'll find that Crumble Cookie officially opens October 6. We'll come back and show you what this place is like later, but let's take a peek into Sunnyland Farms now that it's open. Oh, hold on, we have some traffic. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, where was I? Oh, oh yeah, Sunnyland Farms. Let's go inside real quick. They have a number of different types of nuts and cakes and gift boxes throughout their store. Their most popular is this Heavenly Mix. They actually sent us a box and it was really good. The question is, how do you say it? Pecan, 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 or pecan? A, B, C, or D, let me know in the comments. You can also go into Cineholic and grab one of their cinnamon rolls. Their newest flavors this month is pumpkin cheesecake and cinnamon toasty crunch. Leaving the mountain mile passing Pigeon Forge snow on Teaster Lane, we come to the new Lost Mine Mountain Coaster and Mini Golf. They hope to open the golf course later in the month, but the mountain coaster will officially be open for rides on October 4th and night rides on October 9th. Here is a look at the pricing for the mountain coaster and mini golf, as well as the height requirements. You're welcome to pause the video. We did get an opportunity to preview it. We can't show you the full ride, but we can tell you it was a lot of fun. As we do show you a few highlights, if you're finding this video helpful, do us a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button down below and make sure you are subscribed. If you're not, it's a great way to let me know that this video is helpful and to keep making more just like it. We'll upload a full video of this new mountain coaster showing you all of the bears all around the track and the views you get from the very top. From the Lost Mine mountain coaster, we're gonna head down the road and stop at this food city on the right. I was told they're working on a new hotel here and I just wanted to point out it's right next to the Christmas light trail that we'll be highlighting in next month's What's New video. And just a little further down the road, you would find the Old Mill restaurant where next to it, you would find a craft fair that runs through October 28th. Admission is by donation and they have a number of vendors inside this giant white tent at Patriot Park. Whether you wanna grab some breakfast, lunch, or dinner at the Old Mill restaurant or the Pottery House, which is one of our favorites. And then you can just walk around and enjoy the sights and sounds of the Old Mill district. Leaving Pigeon Forge, we drive along the river and arrive to Gatlinburg to go over what's new for the month of October here at the official welcome and the unofficial welcome sign. The first event I wanted to mention is the Craftsman's Fair that runs from October 5th through the 22nd at the Gatlinburg Convention Center. As we head down the road, I did want to go ahead and answer a question I see a lot, which is when will the fall colors peak in the Smokies? It's ultimately an educated guess, but my best guess would be about mid to late October. You'll be able to see the greatest variety of colors in the leaves, which brings us to our next stop, Anakista. This will get you great views as you enjoy their Bearvarian Festival throughout the month of October. They are still working on finishing up their new bird venture and mountain coaster, so we plan to show you what they are like next month. Across the street from Anakista at the aquarium, you can go to Ripley's Trick or Treat Kickoff Carnival starting at 11 a.m. on October 31st. And throughout the month of October around Gatlinburg, you'll find live performers so you can sit, relax, and enjoy some music. Hey, hey, good looking. Well, I'm free. As we continue to walk through downtown Gatlinburg, I just wanted to take a quick walk through the village as there are a number of fall decorations you can enjoy here throughout the month.
Next we head to Jason Aldean's Kitchen and Rooftop Bar. When we did a full review of this place, this was not open yet. I wanted to show you just on the other side of the stage, if you're a top-notch performer, you can perform here. If you're not quite to their level and you are a wannabe, so whether you wanna be a singer or just wanna listen to some people have fun doing karaoke, you can do that in this section of the third floor rooftop bar. As we continue to walk through downtown Gatlinburg, we come to the current construction of what was China Bazaar and Pucker's Sports Bar. It's moving along and we'll try to give you another update on the progress next month. And we come to the new Gatlinburg Sky Park ticketing building. They plan to open up this month. They also have a number of fall decorations up at the top. Their theme throughout the month is Boo Bash with special fall festival taking place October 27th and 28th. This guy jamming out in the Jeep to YMCA is enjoying the orange building. What do you guys think? Has this uh, architecture and lighting grown on you? Let me know in the comments. Under the Gatlinburg Space Needle, you have the Crazy Mason Milkshake Bar where October's specials are this ghost on the left with orange cream sickle ice cream, the pumpkin ice cream in the middle, or if the hat fits is what this one is called on the right with a pretzel spider web. Let me know which one you would like to try and you can check out our full video of this place in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. As we continue to walk down the street, we come to Ripley's Haunted Adventure. Now it's not something new, but it is very popular throughout the month of October. So if you're looking to be scared, this place is for you. Across from the Hampton Inn in Ober, you'd find Elks Plaza, which is another location you can find live performers throughout the month. Here's a quick sample. There are a number of new things going on at Ober Mountain this October. You can check out their website for all the details, but I did want to point out that you can drive to the top and park for free after 5 p.m. So you can head up and enjoy some of their concerts and entertainment in the evenings. But that's going to wrap up our drive through Sevierville, Pigeon Forge, and Gatlinburg to check out what is new in the Smokies for the month of October. If you are new here, make sure you are subscribed for many more videos just like this. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.